Turning to Vanquis Bank, your credit card business, you reported profits up by two thirds at a time when most other credit card companies are really struggling. So what are you doing differently? Well, Vanquist did have a terrific year. We reported profits of £44 million. And I guess if you look at Vanquist, you'll see it's quite different to most of the credit card issuers. Vanquist is the only card issuer that has uh, focused purely on the non-standard market um, and developed its business model specifically to serve those customers. Now, at the heart of that is what we call our low and growth strategy to credit. So for the customers we accept, and that's typically only around one out of five, we offer a low credit line, often £250, and that credit line is slowly extended as a customer builds up a history with us and a relationship with us. So that the credit line uh, across the portfolio is, is currently averaging around £900, but that's, that's a lot lower than uh, you'd see in a typical mainstream credit card business. We also have a much greater level of customer contact than most credit card issuers. Firstly, we speak to every customer on the phone at the point of underwriting in order to complete the application process. Thereafter, we have a much more intensive dialogue with our customers. They tend to phone us more often, and we use other tools such as SMS text messaging to remind them when they need to pay. So who is a typical Vanquist customer, and how do they come to you? A typical Vanquist customer is going to be in regular employment, probably paid monthly into their bank account. They probably earn between 15 and 30,000 pounds a year, and they probably live in rented accommodation rather than being uh, homeowners. Now they're coming to us because they've probably been turned down for credit elsewhere and that could be because they've had problems in the past but are over them or maybe they've just got a what we call a thin credit file perhaps they've moved address uh, frequently and have an incomplete uh, credit record. Now in terms of how they find us over half our new business now comes to us through the internet through the usual price comparison sites and, uh, and other sources. About a third of our business comes through direct mail programs that, that we run and the remainder comes through referrals from uh, third parties. Vanquist now has around 700,000 customers. So how big could this business get? Well, Vanquist is certainly operating in an underserved market. Now, it's hard to put hard and fast targets around size because growth will depend on the economic environment and on competition and so on. Uh, but if we look at what we did last year, we recruited uh, just short of 300,000 new customers. We had a, a net growth in customers of about 150,000. So I think we can see potential for this business to get to somewhere between a million and 1.2 million customers uh, over the course of the next uh, three or four years. Now in terms of average balance, it's currently in the low 600s, but over time, as the new customers become a smaller part of a larger book, you'd expect the average balance to rise up to somewhere between £800 and £1,000. Now with 1 to 1.2 million customers, that means we're looking at a loan book of around a billion pounds of receivables in due course. That's the same size, if not larger, than the home credit business. You talk about your business plan at Vanquist assuming some adverse impact from a possible rise in unemployment. But at the moment, impairments are at an all-time low. Impairments in Vanquist are at the lowest level since we started the business. Uh, if you think about uh, Vanquist customers being in regular work, Vanquist is more exposed to changes in the conventional employment market. And we built our plans for 2012 uh, around the assumption that unemployment in the economy goes up to 3 million. And so we may see some modest increase in the level of arrears in the business. Now to put that into context, arrears are at an all-time low. So we're talking about the level of impairments in the business potentially rising from that all-time low up a little bit to something that's still well below target. Now I have to say there's no evidence of this so far and in fact I'm encouraged by the fact that we've seen unemployment reasonably stable over the last few months. Vanquist Bank started to take retail deposits in 2011 and recently you said that you'd raised £200 million since last July. You must be very pleased by the way this has gone and how much more do you intend to take in? Yes, we have been very pleased by the launch of retail deposits. It's gone very smoothly. If you look at what we've done, we've built a book with an average maturity of around two years and the all-in cost of retail deposits was running just a little bit over 5%. Now, the plan for the 2012 is to build up the deposit book towards 80% uh, of receivables. That's the target uh, we have set for, um, for funding for Vanquist. Uh, that relies on us being in the best buy tables, not necessarily at the top, but near the top. And what we've seen is um, when you offer rates that are right up there, then uh, the money comes in quite quickly. In one week alone, in September of last year, we brought in £30 million.